Greetings everyone, Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 17th October 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court has suspended the October 14th order of the Bombay High Court which discharged the former Delhi University professor GN Sai Baba and others in an alleged Naxal links case. The court has also stayed the release of Sai Baba and others from jail. News from the High Courts, starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court has directed the former Aligarh Muslim University student Sharjil Usmani to appear in the third semester examinations for MA in Social Exclusion and Inclusive Policy at Jamia Millia Islamia University. The Delhi High Court is going to have its own neutral citation system for all its judgments which are uploaded on its official website with effect from October 17th. The High Court has upheld the constitutional validity of Chapter 2 of the Securitization and Reconstruction of Financial Assets and Enforcement of Security Interest Act 2002, stating that it is not manifestly arbitrary and is not in violation of Article 14 of the Constitution of India. The High Court has ruled that the time for filing the written statement by the defendant under the Code of Civil Procedure after issuance of summons will commence from the date when the suit along with the documents is provided to the defendant. News from the Bombay High Court The Bombay High Court has denied bail to Jyoti Jagtap, an accused in the Bhima Koregaon Elgar Parishad case under the UAPA. The High Court has set aside the life sentence awarded to a carpenter and his son in an honour killing case and instead ruled them guilty of culpable homicide not amounting to murder, observing that the duo just wanted to teach the victim a lesson for continuing the relationship with the girl. The High Court, while underscoring the importance of quashing domestic violence cases once parties arrive at a settlement, even though they are categorized as non-compoundable offense, has ruled that it would be hazardous to force a couple to litigate when they want to live happily. The High Court has observed that a married daughter of a victim of a railway accident would also be entitled to compensation under the Railways Act even though she may not be dependent on him. News from the Allahabad High Court the Allahabad High Court has granted pre-arrest bail to a rape accused till the completion of the investigation or till the filing of the police report charge sheet as it noted that both the victim and the accused have married each other and are living happily as husband and wife. The High Court has granted bail to one Nadeem Ansari who has been accused of posting a video on Facebook showing beheading of former BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma. The High Court has granted relief to Mao Sardar MLA Abbas Ansari, the son of jailed politician Mukhtar Ansari, in connection with the Hisab Kitab remark case. News from the Kerala High Court The Kerala High Court has directed the Transport Commissioner and State Police Chief to take the necessary steps to ensure that no Kerala State Road Transport Corporation bus exhibiting advertisements on the body are allowed to operate in public places. High Court has directed the state government to file a report on the amount of damages that has been quantified by it in connection with strike call given by Popular Front of India and its General Secretary A. Abdul Sattar on September 23rd. News from the Karnataka High Court The Karnataka High Court has reiterated that criminal proceedings cannot be initiated against an intermediary for the products that are sold through its online platform. The High Court, while setting aside the second award passed by the competent authority, held that the National Highways Act does not provide for issuing a second award with respect to the land acquired pursuant to the notifications under 3A and 3D of the Act. New News from High Courts in the other parts of the country The Rajasthan High Court has granted 15-day parole to a life convict for the purpose of progeny on a petition filed by his wife who is issueless and is desirous of retaining maintaining her marriage with the convict and preserving her lineage. The National Green Tribunal has imposed a penalty of Rs 35 crores on the Jammu and Kashmir administration for failing to prevent the discharge of untreated sewage into the Dood Ganga, which is a major tributary of River Jhelum and Mamatkul stream in Kashmir Valley's Srinagar and Budgam districts. That is all for today. Thank you so much.